After I have dried Winnie in her towel post bath for about five to 10 minutes, I take her back to the grooming table where I have set up some towels as you see for her to lie in while I blow her dry. After I remove her from her damp towel, she shakes out one last time while I hang up that white towel over a chair to dry completely. You can see she's ready to go. She knows what's coming. This is not her favorite part of the bathing process, but it must be done. She's not a fan of the blow dryer, but having her in that nest of towels um, and having a hands-free uh, experience because of the dryer blow dryer I have, which I'll post a link to below, allows me to have one hand on her and one hand on the brush um, and still be able to move the dryer around. It's very, very convenient and I highly recommend investing in a freestanding dryer like this, um, specifically one made for pets because it's lower heat. Uh, if you can afford it, it's a little expensive, but it really makes the makes it much, much easier to blow dryer. So I'm going to speed up a bunch of this footage because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought you might want to see it. So here comes the sp sped up parts. And um, sorry, it's a little jittery at first. My husband was trying to sit down. <laughs> he was my, my cameraman for this experience. Anyway, it's hard. You can't really see the dryer right now. But I, I kind of move it around depending on what section I'm working on and kind of going along with how I groom her. I start her on her left side. So, um, you know, I, I start with her right side, basically. And uh, I go from the back to the front and I kind of work from the bottom half of her horizontally to the top while moving up her body. And basically brushing her at the same time as, dry, as blow drying her coat makes it go a lot faster. The action of brushing, and I'm brushing very gently here, you don't want to brush really harshly when, well ever, but especially when the hair is wet because it can definitely cause some damage to the hair. But brushing her like this separates the hair so that it dries faster. Because when it's wet, as you saw, you know, in the beginning of the video when she was still all wet, it clumps together and it's just so much harder to dry. But when you're brushing it through while the blow dryer is going, it just really speeds up the process. And that is something I definitely learned with time <laughs> and after doing some research. But, um, I do move her around, you know, as soon as I finish her side, I kind of make her um, unwrap her head. I keep her head wrapped up when she's on her side to kind of protect her ears and because she does not like the sound of the blow dryer and she does not like it on her face. But uh, you can see I just flipped her over to the other side. This is going so fast because I sped it up. But, um, you know, I unwrap her head to do the top of her head and the top of her neck and stuff. But those areas generally just don't get as dry as her back portion of her body because I want to be extra careful around her head. I don't want to get the blow dryer directly in her ear. I don't want to get it directly in her face. Of course, I have to blow dry near her face a little bit, but um, I try not to blow directly in her face as much as possible. So you can see how much quicker this is going. Well, because I sped it up a whole bunch, but because I'm brushing her out, that's really my biggest tip. If you can get some sort of hands-free blow drying option, um, it just makes it so much easier to hold her and kind of manipulate her in the way I need her to go physically so I can reach all parts of her. And then after I've done most of her body, I take the towels off and uh, go around to all the parts that I kind of missed because she was lying down, specifically, you know, her backside as well as the top of her body, and then ending up at her chest. And this is probably the area I spend the least amount of time, as I mentioned before, because, um, you know, it's a very sensitive area with her face and ears and stuff. But there we're finishing up, and then we'll come back and show you how we brush her. finish our routine. We survived. We survived. Now don't rub your face. Man. Shh, shh, shh. There. Are we sitting straight? Good. 
After I've completed the blow drying process, I brush her out just a little bit. I have her on her stomach and I brush her hair back so I can put her part in. And it gets a little hard to do after her bath booming is a little bit more challenging because her hair is just so fine. And here it's even a little damp still. It's mostly dry. I would say it's about 90 to 95% dry. I just kind of brush her through so there's no big knots or anything. And I do her chest and top of her head. And then I put either a top knot or piggies in, no bow. I generally do pigtails, but for some reason during this filming, I decided to do just a top knot. And I use um, these purple bands that I got at Show Off Dog Supplies. I will post a link below. They're purple. They're a little more rigid, so they hold up better on their own. Whereas with a bow, the bow kind of helps hold her hair up. Um, so I really only use these purple ones post bath or when she's not wearing a bow, which is not very often. But you can see I just do a regular top knot just minus the bow. And if you want a more detailed look at how I put a top knot in, I call it a casual top knot. Um, in Winnie's hair. I did a video on that in this series and all of the links to all of the previous grooming series videos are in the more info bar below. But it's the same process basically just leaving out the bow. Um, the reason I don't put bows in her hair is because her hair is very soft and still a little damp and it just doesn't hold up as well and I don't want anything bad to happen to her beautiful bows. Um, so that's why we do that. And that is it. She's about to get her biscuit and then I'll clean up. Oh, it's a pretty girl. You did it. You did it. Good girl. Where's your face? Where's your face? Yes. You want a biscuit? You want a biscuit? I got a biscuit now. Okay, go ahead. We don't, ooh, we dropped it. We don't make her do any treats for her biscuit. Any tricks? Yeah. That's what I meant. Okay, and then you can. So I wash these towels once every three months because they don't really get dirty, but you know, you gotta wash them. And I let Winnie's towel air dry for about a day before I hang it back in the bathroom so it dries completely. Drawers from that. So that's all clean and then I just go clean up the bathroom really fast. She's finishing up her, well she just started with this thing really. Are you following me? Mm-hmm. Oh, oops. Now you can see at the bottom of the shower all the scum that is left. And here I'm cleaning this out with a tissue. And we've got to clean the shower right after before it gets um, like stuck on there. So I just clean the tub first. Just rinse it really, I don't scrub it. And I kind of go down the back wall to get any scum that's there. So, so it doesn't dry in the shower and get all sunny. That's good. And then the last thing we do is this is the time that I wash Winnie's combs and brushes. It's really easy. You just put some warm water in the sink and just a tiny bit of dish soap. You drop her combs in there. This is a Chris Christensen brush brush. brush, brush. <laughs> and I really just, I just scrub. I mean, it just gets a little scuzzy from when she's dirty. Not much really else. I mean, I pull out the hair every day. You know, every time I brush her, using the comb, so there's no hair in there really. But you don't want to get the wood too wet. You want those dry upside down so the water doesn't get in the brush handle. And these I really just very lightly brush. And that is it. Let that drain. 
and we're all done. <gasps> Dan Winnie's all done. And we can't see her face. There she is. She's like, there's no more biscuit. <laughs> Maybe I stuck some down here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed bath time with Winnie. She's nice and clean and fluffy now. She's a little bit hard to groom for the next day just because she's so soft. But um, we won't wear bows till tomorrow and she'll probably take a big nap this afternoon because that was a lot of work. But it's worth it for a clean baby. Say bye. Wave bye bye. <laughs> She's like, put me down. I've had enough torture for one day. <laughs> Alright. Bye you guys. Take care.